Hi, this is Pat from Chiodos, and this is part three of our Pure Volume Q&A. Jonathan Huff, who was the first band you guys saw live? First band. The the first band. Show. Is that the answer? Yeah. What? Well, what? Let's let's maybe not go punk rock with this. Okay. Like legit. Wait, did he say band? First band you saw. Ah, live. band, band. I mean, first band I saw live was DC Talk. At yeah. <laughs> oh in no. Fifth, fifth or sixth grade. Because that's my uh, first at one's. At the Palace of Auburn Hills, I think. But Jars of Clay. The first like. Jars of Clay. Yeah. Going to a dirty venue band I saw live was <clears throat> Catch-22 in my mm. freshman year. It would be MXPX for me, and it was, um, I think, pretty positive it was MXPX. And the Hippos. And, and the Hippos were there. Yes. And oh, it yeah. was amazing because that was the first band I went and saw live, and maybe seven years later I sang on one of their records, so it's, you know, full circle. Full and circle. played bass for one of their songs. Yeah, how cool is that? Yes, that was amazing. That's how we met. Yeah, other than, other than oh, Jars of Clay, um, <laughs> and we have to say the hot flashes at Punk Rock Prom. Wow. <laughs> I don't remember the first local show, but like real show, probably Lesson Jig with Braid opening up. Ricky Kendall, do you guys miss playing in living rooms and basements in Michigan? If so, do any shows nowadays have that intimate feeling of those small shows of your early days, or has it been lost with the fame? Oof. If we're famous, then... We're doing something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I, is this fame? <laughs> Fame's lame. Basement, mm. basement shows are always cool though. Basement shows are awesome. <coughs> yeah. I wish we, we could play only like, play basement shows. We play like intimate shows though still. Yeah, we try, like we've like, really been working at doing that. Yeah, there's shows that have that vibe though. Yeah. Um, as far as basement shows, I mean you really can't compare up the Michigan basement shows. Yeah. I think a lot of it too, like, um, is that it's something that is just comes down to security. Right? Like, we just want to make sure people are safe. We're trying to create a safe atmosphere for, for you guys to come and watch us but play. But we do as well. miss. We do miss this. We do. Shows. We miss it so much that we're doing three or four Michigan shows, really intimate ones, coming up in March uh, before the record release. And I'm not going to tell you where or when, but they're going to be small. We're aiming to do, you know, 200 and less caps. I mean, we, we want it to be as intimate as we possibly can because we do miss this. So I think that was a great question. And, um, the answer is yes, we, we absolutely do. Um, but we also don't want to make our shows so exclusive um, that we, we alienate people. Eric Michael. How do you guys choose your set list for shows? We all sit down in a room and, and uh, kind of just go through like what, we, what songs we think will go good together and what we can balance within a, a set for itself. And, um, within that time frame and a lot of the times uh, uh, it's just it's not really predetermined yeah I, I it's all about the fans really whoever we're playing in front of for this album I noticed you didn't go with a classic Chiodo C is there a reason behind it we're kind of rebranding ourselves a little bit in a way we're not totally getting rid of the traditional C we still got the classic it's over here but devil's where it's at right now. <laughs> I mean, it's still, it's still important to, to us and what we do, but we just yeah. wanted to uh, spice things up a little bit. Yeah. Get people talking. That's it. Um, we're out of questions. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for caring. Thank you for <laughs> writing in uh, Pure Volume and doing the, the Q&A. Thank you to Pure Volume for having us.